Hello again, my name is Adam and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking dishwasher door. If your dishwasher is leaking from the corners here underneath the door, chances are it's the gasket that's the problem, it's the seal that goes around the door. If your dishwasher has a leak coming from underneath the dishwasher creeping out onto the kitchen floor, you need to remove this panel and you probably have a failed hose or a failed pump, something like that. And that would be a different how-to video. But in this one, what you do is you open your dishwasher and you can see this black trim going all the way around. Well, sometimes that can get damaged or just smashed, so that's what needs to be replaced. Before we do that, make sure that these screws around the door are tightened. If they're sticking out and you try and close the door, it's going to push the door away from the main body of the dishwasher and it's going to create a gap in which the water can come out. So if those screws are loose, tighten them and that might be uh, what fixes your problem. In my case, you can see this gasket is smashed and damaged. It has a hole in it. It's really easy to take out. You just yank it and that's it. Now to order a new one, you're going to need to know your model type and if you open the door and look right here on the sticker, you can see this model number there. You don't need the serial number, just the model number. So go online and type in your dishwasher model number and then you can type in door gasket. I got mine from Amazon, I paid about $35 and in this parts bag they include this latch that's for the top of the door underneath the cabinet and this is just to replace it if you have an old plastic one because those fail so if you have a metal one and it's all working fine you just throw the new latch they gave you away and don't worry about it here you can see the old gasket and the new one they're not an exact match at all it works anyway but the old one is actually thicker and probably constructed a bit better the new ones has a very thin wall that could probably easily get ripped but and if you notice, the barbs are also different. They don't look the same. And before I do the real install, here's how it inserts. You can see it just fits in this little groove. So tuck it in tight on the bottom corner and just work your way up. You'll probably have to go back and forth a few times making sure it's in. It's not hard at all to fit this in, except the corners take a little bit of work. You need to pull it as you push it in. That gets rid of the extra slack and it makes for a nice corner. So just keep working it all the way across the top, pushing in every spot. I'm not pulling tight. Except for the corners, I pull it a little bit. Here on this corner, you can see that is not how you want it to look. That's not going to do a good job sealing. On this side, you can see it went in just right. So pull it out, and when you're smashing it in, pull on it a little bit, and that will stretch it so that the corner is nice and straight and not wobbly. And just feed it all the way down into the bottom. And you can get a pair of scissors and cut off the rest. smash it down in the corner and that's about it I hope that's been helpful to you if so please click like also comment and subscribe and uh, you'll get notifications on new videos thanks for watching and have an awesome day